looking for someone? Don't tell me it's not another dream. No, I already pinched myself. So you're saying this is real life? No, I'm saying this is imagination. I'm playing with you. Oh, God. Now let's see. I let him down the right path now. Left path, I guess it doesn't I understand you want to sleep a bit longer, okay. but we have a to long day ahead of us. Look, it's not about the sleep. I just woke up from the most terrifying nightmare of my entire life. So? Everyone has nightmares. But this nightmare was different. This nightmare felt so realistic. So? I have lucid dreams all the time. No, 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 it's not just that. The nightmare I had were three dreams combined into one. And they're all leading up to this event tonight. I don't know, but it's just a feeling. Say your homestick. Tower 4, this is Tower 2. Now on the radio check, over. You there, buddy? Come in, Tower 4. Do you copy? Over. Tower 2, this is Tower 4. I repeat you, over. Good to hear, Tower 4. Kicking off for the night. Park's all yours. Over. Tell me about your dreams so you can get it off your chest. You don't sound too impressed about this. Beat the cat. Just get it together. Just tell me. Well, I don't feel very comfortable talking about it because it was so scary, but here it goes. My dream started off as my shifts usually go here at Graceland Park. It's a nice summer night, breathing in a nice warm air, contemplating the brief nature of my existence, and so forth. Tower 2 comes along as usual saying he's taken off from the night, and that's when my shift starts. That's when I get a call from a hiker saying he's being chased by a wild animal. And at first I think it might be a bear or some other small animal. But that's when I start noticing things on the radio. I hear the hikers saying strange things. But I realize that it's not the hiker that's speaking. Somebody's imitating his voice. And from the research I've done, there was a monster chasing him known as the Goatman which can mimic the voices of hikers lost in the woods. So that's when I attempt to lead the hiker back to my tower. And shortly after giving him some directions, a tree falls nearby where the hiker's at. And along with that, I hear this scream. It wasn't the scream of the hiker. It sounded like the scream of a human and a goat combined. That's when I realized it might have been the goat man that screamed. The hiker got lost from the trail. I told him if he saw any landmarks, he saw a mine and a lake, so I told him to go to the lake. And that's when I let him on Gracewind Lake Pass. I realized after hearing the goat man scream again, it was a horrible mistake. I wake up from another dream knowing that I killed the hiker by mistake. And that's where you come in. This dream is a little bit the same as the last dream, except you're in it. I'm explaining the dream I had. We're still leading the hiker to my tower, but we end up leading him at Tower 2. I turn on the floodlights to show our location when the goat man comes slamming on that door back there. I tell you to run away, get out of the tower, I'll hold him off, and the goat man kills me. 
And yet again, I wake up from another dream. This time I'm all by myself, with absolutely no idea what's going on, and I'm starting to freak out. This piece of paper starts telling me everything's a dream, but this, but that would be the last dream until I'd come back to real life, and I'd actually have to save me and the hiker. I sailed in ending three. I ended up leading the hiker to my tower, which the goat man got him, and then got me. So that's why I'm so freaked out about my sleep. Gee, Woolikers, that was boring as heck. Well, let's go save the hiker. Wait, 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 wait. You actually believe me? Well, yeah. I mean, I thought a story like that would just make you think I'm crazy, but... You actually believe me? But if I didn't believe you, you'd be talking about it all night. I can take over this call. This is Fire Tower 4 at Gracewind Park. What's your problem? Over. Uh, help me! Uh, I saw this radio station out on the park. Please, you gotta help me! I'm going to die out here! <sighs> Alright, sir. I'm gonna need you to calm down for a second. Calmly tell me what is going on. Over. And I'm getting really scared out here. Please, help me! All right, sir. There's no need to panic. I'm gonna turn on the floodlights, and you can come straight to me. Over. All right, go turn on the breaker lights so he knows where we are. Aye, aye, aye Captain. <sighs> At least I'll know our location. Wait. Never turn on. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. Oh no. Wait! Don't do it! Wait, dude, don't turn on the floodlights! <sighs> Sorry about that. Just don't turn on the floodlights. It gives away our location to Goat Man. Um, are the lights on? Cause I don't see anything around. Are are you are you sure you're not calling from a different park? Sorry, sir. It appears that the floodlights aren't working right now. I think someone forgot to uh, change the light in it. So, we're just going to give you valid directions to lead you straight to our tower. Over. Uh, okay, yes. Just whatever you need to do to get me out of this, I'm completely fine with it. Okay, hey, listen. Keep going on the trail you're on, and once you hit a fork in the road, take a left. And keep going until you hit another fork in the road, take a right, and you should hit my tower. Over.